Leonardo is an intelligence-based mage class hero from the Dimensional Faction who specializes in controlling his enemies. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at his skills and abilities, his teams and uses, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. So let's get into it. His ultimate ability is work of art. For this one, he's going to create an artwork on his canvas, which is going to deal damage to all enemies that have been splashed with paint. Also, putting them inside a portrait frame, which will immobilize them for eight seconds. His next ability is Art Attack, and for this one, he's going to splash paint on two random enemies, leaving them marked with paint, which will reduce their tenacity and their dodge rating. And this skill will prioritize enemies who are not currently covered in paint. Then we have Renaissance Cannon. For this one, Leonardo is going to create a cannon which he will use to deal damage to all enemies within a cone shape and also leave them stunned for three seconds. For the evacuation ability, each time Leonardo receives damage, close range damage that is more than 10% of his max health, he'll launch his seat into the air and move to the safest area on the battlefield. Now this effect can be triggered once every 8 seconds and when he launches into the air, enemies within the range will be dealt damage and have their haste reduced. His signature item skill is the machinist. For this one, enemies that are further away from him when he uses his cannon will take increased damage up to 30%. At level 2, it can increase up to 50% and at level 20, it can increase up up to 80%. And at level 30, when he triggers the evacuation ability as a result of receiving damage, the damage that triggered it will not be able to exceed 10% of his max health. His furniture ability is Artistic Inspiration. For this one, he's going to receive an additional 10 energy points per second for every enemy that is covered in paint. Then at level 9, enemies that are struck by the Work of Art ability will receive 45% more damage for the following 8 seconds. And finally, we have his engravings. At level 30, using the skill Evacuation will immediately reset the cooldown of his Renaissance Cannon ability. And then at level 60, after using the skill Evacuation, he will receive 50% less damage for the following 5 seconds. Leonardo's control abilities are some of the greatest in the game. His ability to completely lock out a whole enemy team makes him valuable with just about any characters you want. He sort of makes his own team and then you can bring other characters around him to help survive and deal damage. His ability to stun enemies with his cannon, then followed up with marking them with paint and putting them inside a frame to consistently lock them out for eight second periods at a time is absolutely fantastic. The team that we will look at in this video is going to be the team of Brutus, Arthur, Raku, Leonardo, and Laika. Brutus and Arthur are in this team for the same reason. Basically, just to be tanks and hold off as much damage from the enemy team as possible until Leonardo can start cycling through his control, in which case, once that happens, we don't even need any more tanks. Then we have Raku. Raku has fantastic synergy with Leonardo, as when enemies are CC'd, Raku's basic attacks will hit all enemies that are under control effects and also deal damage based on their maximum HP, which is incredibly strong as we push into high deficits of gameplay. Then finally we have Lyca. Lyca is in this team to speed everything up, grant us extra energy and haste at the start of the battle so we can start getting those combos off faster. And then of course we have Leonardo. Now as you can see in this battle we do lose both of our tanks, however the capacity for Leonardo to endlessly lock out the entire enemy team in his frames and stop our final three units from taking damage is what really makes this work. He can endlessly CC while Raku continues to deal the damage until we wear down the entire enemy team. As for artifacts on Leonardo, the number one choice is going to be Jura's Call. This allows him to continuously generate more energy to allow him to keep those enemies locked in the frames for the entire battle. So with all that out of the way, how far do we want to invest into Leonardo? The first thing is we need to obtain him. To do that, you're going to have to purchase his fragments through the Challenger store, and he is a fantastic option to pick up as he is such a powerful control unit. Now, as we move on into his signature item, you can actually get away without any investment into his signature item at all. His level 30 will help in certain situations where he is taking damage. However, a lot of the time, if you don't need this, then 
none of his signature item is really needed. The damage doesn't matter because he's there just to control the enemy team. And like I said, sometimes his 30 is nice, but an investment of zero is perfectly fine. As we move on to his furniture, level three is a must have. This extra energy regeneration will help him permanently keep his enemies inside those frames. Level nine is also really nice, but not as necessary. It's something you want to work towards, but maybe not use select tickets to obtain. It will increase the damage that enemies receive whilst in the frames, but if you can keep them permanently framed away, then the damage doesn't matter as much because you will eventually wear them down. And finally, we have his engravings. These are very similar to his level 30 signature item where they revolve around the evacuation ability. So if your Leonardo isn't taking damage and activating the evacuation ability, then these aren't needed. In some situations, they will be great, for, but for most people starting out with Leonardo, you don't need to invest into the engravings straight away. So that is going to be it for a Leonardo, one of the best control units in the game and definitely worth picking up from the Challenger store. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.